A question that often comes from developers learning web development is how much HTML and CSS do you need to know to learn JavaScript? There could be different answers to this question, and I think the best way to figure out the answer is by responding to the question, why do you need to learn HTML and CSS to then learn JavaScript in the first place? In web development, JavaScript is used to manipulate the DOM or document object model. This is basically the structure of a website, so think about the navigation bar, the body, the buttons, and so on. So with JavaScript, we can change how the website looks and trigger some dynamic actions like opening a model and navigating to another section of the website, right? A good example for you to visualize how HTML and CSS are going to be needed when learning JavaScript is creating a small to-do list app. To create a to-do list, you need some HTML elements like an input element to type our tasks, a button to add our tasks to a list of to-dos and a list where we display each of the tasks. Then in our CSS, we create a class list item and within it, we assign some properties like font size, background color, padding, and border. Whenever we type something on the input and click on the add button, we create a new HTML LI element, which is essentially a list item element and assign a class to it. So the new item is displayed with some styling. This is then added to our current list for it to be displayed. So if you realize here, we have used HTML to create the structure of our page with some HTML elements like input, button, UL, and LI. And we have used attributes in HTML like the class attribute. Then in our CSS, we created a selector type class with some properties. And finally, in our JavaScript, we created a new HTML element, assigned a class to it, and added it to our existing list. All of this happened dynamically when the user clicked on the button. All of this is to say that knowing simple concepts in HTML like basic syntax, common elements and attributes, and in CSS also basic syntax, selectors, and basic styling is more than enough for you to start learning JavaScript right away. Now, in all honesty, if you want to take more advantage of JavaScript with your HTML and CSS knowledge, I would advise you to learn in HTML basic structure. So understanding the structure of an HTML document, that's the HTML head and body tags, common elements such as div, span, p, anchor, image, and form tags. Then you should know your way around attributes as well, like ID, class, source, href, old value name and others and lastly forms so forms elements like input text area select button and form handling as well hey friends i would truly appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it you know this will help me keep on creating more content like this in CSS, you should learn at least the basic syntax selectors like class, element, ID, descendant, child, sibling, and pseudo classes. The box model as well is pretty important. Styling basics, so color, background, fonts, text alignments, etc. Positioning, so that's static, relative, absolute, and fixed. Would be good to know some flexbox and grid as well, and responsive design. So in summary, you can learn JavaScript after knowing just the basics of HTML. HTML and CSS. There is another answer to this question, which is you can learn JavaScript without knowing any HTML and CSS because you can use JavaScript on the server side and build backend applications on Node.js. No matter what kind of development you do, you should always at least know the basics of HTML and CSS as I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you'll need this knowledge along the line. If you want to know how much HTML, CSS, and JavaScript you need to know to land a web developer job, check out this video I published. Hope you got something useful from this video, folks. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.